Locating some of the bosses in Core Keeper can be challenging, especially those that you can't scan for. In this video, I'll show you how to find every boss in Core Keeper. Let's get started. Locating the six bosses in Core Keeper is pretty easy if you know where to look for them. Now let's quickly take a look at how the map is set up and that's gonna make finding them much easier. When you spawn into your map, it's gonna be procedurally generated. You're gonna spawn into the core, which is this area right here. Now around the core is gonna be the dirt biome. That's 100% consistent. However, outside the dirt biome, you're gonna have a 50-50 shot at running into either the clay caves or the forgotten ruins. The clay caves obviously has the clay and it also has the hive walls. The forgotten ruins is gonna have stone. This map here, for me, for example, this top area up here is going to be mostly stone. The bottom area here is going to be mostly clay. This can rotate in a 360 degree fashion. However, half the map is going to be clay. Half the map is going to be stone. Beyond that, once you get beyond that, you're going to end up running into the wall out here. Once you get rid of that wall, you'll be able to access Azos' Wilderness. Currently, Azos' Wilderness takes up about a third of the map, I believe. That's what it kind of looks like here. It's this green area. So mine runs from over here all the way up and around over here. So it's about a third of the map. This can also rotate. So while I found it on most of my maps beyond the stone biome, I have seen, or the forgotten ruins biome, I have seen other maps where it's actually located on the other side of the clay biome. The rest of this map is where it's black over here and I have not explored, is gonna be reserved for future updates. So now that we have that out of the way, let's take a look at how to find each of the six bosses. The first boss you're almost surely gonna encounter is gonna be Glurch the Abominous Mass. This is the orange slime boss. It's gonna be found inside the dirt biome. Glurch is going to be 65 blocks away from the core, but it can be in any direction. For example, on this map, Glurch was right here on this little spot over here. In the other maps that I've played on so far, one time it was up here, one time it was down here. So it's gonna be anywhere in the 360 degree radius of the core, so any direction, 65 blocks away. The second boss you're gonna run into, more likely than not, is gonna be Gorm the Devourer. Gorm is the giant bug that walks around in a circle. There's this giant path around here, which you can see it's kind of like a lot of slime on it because he leaves slime behind him. There's also slimes all over this path. I think it takes him about eight minutes to circle this path. So chances are you might run into him or you might have to wait a couple minutes or just go find him. But that's the path he's going to be walking in. The path should be approximately 250 blocks away or 250 blocks away. It does vary in range in how wide it is in some points, but it's going to be 250 blocks away. And like I said, Gorm can be in any direction. But if you find the path, he'll eventually run it. You'll eventually run into him or he'll run into you. The third boss you're going to need to defeat in order to power up the core is going to be the Hive Mother. The Hive Mother is going to be found 330 blocks away inside the clay caves. So somewhere down here, more likely than not, you're going to have you're going to end up running into some hive walls before you get there. Now, for me, I believe I was able to get to her without having to break through any hive walls. If you have to break through hive walls, I believe the amount of mining you need is somewhere around like 280. So you're probably going to need a mining the iron pickaxe and possibly some uh, mining setup like the stone ring the ring of stone and the ring of rock in order to break through the hive walls but you're going to find her somewhere in this arc she can be in any direction 330 blocks away inside the clay caves the fourth boss is going to be malyagaz the corrupted this is an optional boss that can be found in the forgotten ruins 350 blocks away from the core so just slightly further away than the hive mother for example malyagaz for me was somewhere right around here on this arc now malyagaz is only going to be found in the forgotten ruins so it's only going to be on this half of the map like I said, just don't remember on your map, depending on where the clay and where the forgotten ruins are, this can rotate, but just look for 350 blocks away. And it's going to be a, it's a square, it's a squarish circular shaped arena that will have a throne at the top of it. And it'll also have a summoning square or summoning circle in the center of it. That's going to be where you fight Malyagaz. Next up is going to be Azos. Azos can be found in Azos' Wilderness. If you have not located the Wilderness yet, what you can do is talk to the core after you have powered it up and taken down the impenetrable wall. The core will tell you the general direction you're going to find Azos. For example, on this map, Azos for me was located somewhere back here behind this arc, and it would have told me that Azos was in the northwestern direction, so I would have went up here. For you, it's going to be somewhere inside the wilderness. Now, again, the wilderness can be on any side of the map, so just locate the wilderness, look 600 blocks out, and you'll find it somewhere on this line. Our sixth and final boss is going to be Ivy, the poisonous slime. Ivy can also be found in Azos' wilderness, 900 blocks away from the core, so much deeper in than Azos. For me, Ivy was up here where you can see these purple slimes, so back here. Again, Ivy can be found anywhere 900 blocks away in the wilderness, so for me, it could be anywhere from here all the way over to here. In this case, it was right here. Here's the same image, but without the map behind it. If you want to download it or the one with the map in the background, head over to the Core Keeper Resources channel in my Discord. Link for that down in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button. And here's another video you might find useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.